morning everyone I'm Natalie Roberts grandmother and I'd like to welcome you all to Natalie's birthday bash and today we are going to do a watercolor of a llama because Natalie's birthday bash is a llama birthday bash and this is sort of what we're gonna try to end up with and before we begin I'd like you all to have your paint brushes and your paint and a glass of water and your canvas that Natalie's mom gave to everyone. We're gonna have our canvas. Take your fingers, your little fingers, and dip your fingers in the water and drop some drops in each of your colors. And this is so the, wa the water can loosen up the colors so we can use them. So we have that and now we're going to have our first part of the drawing. Take your black, which is the first color all the way to the left. Take your black on your paintbrush and make an upside down you right about here then take some more black and make a line across that that's the back of the llama this is the top part of the head take some more black on your paintbrush dip your paintbrush in the black and bring this down and up and around to the bottom of the head. Now take your black, more black, and we're going to give our llama four legs. And let's, let's make little hoofs on these legs with our black. Let's just kind of color in a little bit on the bottom. With the black. And take a little more black. We're using a lot of that black. And if you need to put a little more water in it, go right ahead and drip a couple, couple more drops. We're gonna go to the tip of the body here and make a backward C. That's our llama's tail. Then we're gonna go to the top of the head and make a backward C and a forward C. And take your black and draw a line from the tip of those C's to the top of the head. And what did we just make? We made the llama ears, didn't we? Now make little circles up here for the llama's eyes and we will fill those in later with a color. I kind of like blue, blue eyes. I like blue eyed llamas. Then we're gonna make another circle with our black. So dip it in black again and we're going to make a big circle where we're going to put the llama's nose and mouth. And we're just going to wait. Let's wait until we get into our red color to do a red, a red mouth. Go back to the ears and actually make another little backward C and forward C for the inside of the ears. Dip your paintbrush in your water to get a little more water and we're going to go back to our black color again and we're going to make an upside down rainbow as a blanket for our llama you can start here and here and here
take some more black and we're going to give this llama a flower garland around its neck and they don't have to be perfect mine certainly aren't just a cute little flower garland on our llama If you need more time, just ask us to stop the video. Now we're going to take just a little more black and do fringes that look a little bit like chicken feet. And there's one more thing we have to do with our black before we're done. We're gonna make circles. You can make one circle, two circles, three circles. I like five circles. You can even make more if you like, but make about five circles anywhere. Space them apart. We're gonna color these circles after with different colors. There we go, I have five. So make five circles anywhere. Now we're gonna take our colors and we're going to color, we're gonna color different colors and, and you can do whatever colors you want. I'll tell you what colors I'm using and you can use any color, but I will just make a suggestion and we can do whatever. So dip your paintbrush in your water to clean it and let's take, Let's take um, the color red and we're going to start with a little nose and a little mouth if you'd like. Then we're going to fill in some of our other colors. So let's fill in. While we're using the red, we're gonna fill in the top part of the blanket and any circle that you want. Fill in any circle with that red. And you can keep dabbing in the red if you want to make it darker. And wash your brush. And now, my favorite color is next to white. It looks black, but it's purple. Dip your paintbrush in the purple and let's paint the next part of our rainbow blanket purple. Can you see I'm filling this in? So fill in this next part of the blanket. And you can get more purple if you need it. Get more purple on your brush. And it's okay if your llama's not like mine. It's okay if it's perfect and not like mine. Mine's a little bit just a fun llama and that's what this is supposed to be. Now take your purple and color in again another circle, the purple. And then color one of your flowers purple. And dip your paintbrush in your water. And let's, I'm gonna use green, you can use whatever you want, but I'm going to paint this last part of the rainbow green. A nice green. You can keep dipping it in the green. This is just such a cute little llama. I love llamas. Except I don't like when they spit. They do spit. 
but they like to kiss you too. Now take your green and do one of your flowers green. And what else? I bet you can guess what we're gonna do. We're gonna do another circle green. Okay, dip, dip your paintbrush again, and let's do yellow. Let's do a yellow flower. And a yellow circle. And let's dip one more time. And dip in blue. And let's give our llama bright blue eyes. Looking at you. And with that blue, paint in another circle. I like to use our colors. And you can go back and darken up any of these circles if you want them darker red darker whatever you can do whatever you want now we're gonna take the orange so wash your paintbrush in your water to clean it and now we're gonna do orange and we're gonna paint uh, his little inside his ears a little bit of orange And we're going to take the orange and make some squiggles between the circles. Make some orange squiggles. Any kind of squiggles. And the last thing we're going to do, well, one of the last things, I kind of think we should go back to the black, dab a tiny dot in the eye, a tiny little dot if you want, because then it makes the llama look like he's looking at us. And then with the black, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to sign our watercolor. And I'm going to sign it grandma because I am Natalie's grandma. I want to see everyone when you're done hold your llama up to the camera so we can